Well, I think that um, if you think about Charlotte, we are a banking center. We are a financial town. Uh, we are underrepresented currently, I believe, in terms of the number of fintech companies in Charlotte relative to the assets that we have here. We obviously have two of the largest banks in the United States, but we also have great companies like LendingTree.com that was formed and built here that I had the pleasure of uh, participating in and helping on. But then we also have Abbott Exchange and a few others, but we really should have dozens of fintech companies. So this program serves as an accelerator for that. Yeah, there's, you know, I think that people get uh, misguided when they look at the, the large buildings in Charlotte and they see the Bank of America Tower and the Duke Energy Tower. They think large companies, big companies, Wells Fargo, obviously. But if you actually look at what's going on here, there's a lot of entrepreneurship. Uh, not just in fintech with the lending trees and avid exchanges, but a lot of real estate entrepreneurship, a lot of uh, medical entrepreneurship. There's a lot more here than meets the eye originally. Well, you know, someone's got to get the ball rolling, right? So I give uh, Dan Rosselli and the whole Southeast Venture Conference, you know, hats off to them. I give them a lot of credit. Uh, someone has to initiate this. It generally doesn't just happen organically. I think there's an incredible future here. Um, I think as we see more lending trees, we see more avid exchanges, you're going to see investors want to get behind fintech. There's an incredible talent pool here. One of the reasons why lending tree started in Charlotte was because of the amazing talent pool of employees to recruit. So I think you're going to see momentum.